Hey everybody, it's Manny from Chapel Forge. So I've been absent for a few days because we caught a stomach virus, which was lovely. Um, thank goodness we only had it for like six hours, really, um, as far as like the puking and all the other lovely business that comes with a stomach virus. Um, and then the last like two days we were just like, you know, wiped and tired and whatever. Um, so we kind of took it easy yesterday. We were at the old house. We just like watched movies and did whatever. Um, and then today we kind of did like a light duty day. Um, we drove up to the new house Dad had already loaded a trailer before he got sick. Um, so that was already ready to go. So all we had to do was like hook onto the truck and, and get going. So couple updates we had to get the ac compressor pump replaced on the pickup um so that had to get done last week and then um currently the excursion is getting a u-joint replaced um i guess i can't complain we have been running our trucks really hard and a lot of miles and they've been you know workhorses for us so um just you know little things that happen that was our timer for the dishes <laughs> um little things that happen when you're making a zillion trips and it's 100 miles each direction um the boys are working on well not but <laughs> they're working on making a fire it's chilly here tonight it's like i think the real feel is like in the mid to low 40s um which is crazy because seriously a few days ago it was like in the mid 80s um so just an update about where we are right now. So we are working on converting our outhouse into the grain shed for the layers. So I have a video coming about that. Um, the goats are still in their temporary structure for now. They're fine. They don't have a ton of forest space, maybe like a hundred square feet. Um, but I only have three goats, so they're fine. Um, for now they're, you know, it's not what they were used to at the other house, but soon they'll have like an acre and a half to themselves to forage and, and do whatever. So we're getting to that point. The layers, their fence is up. I put a video up about that. So they're able to be out and about when we're here during the day. Um, again, I'm getting amazing egg production considering we just moved them and it's a new coop to them and whatever. I'm still averaging three-ish dozen a day give or take two two to four dozen it kind of depends um so i can't complain about that um i'm broodering the 20-ish babies in the top of the garage so they're doing excellent um my meat turkeys and meat chickens are in the holiday rambler camper i have a video up about that about that conversion making that into a brooder so they're bud they're in there um, doing great and the guineas are doing great. So I can't complain. Um, our friends at Homesteading Roots took care of our animals while we were sick, which was great. They're about 20 minutes-ish down the road. So they were able to help us because when we got sick, we were at the old house, of course. So they helped us out while we were down with that. Um, so as far as what's happening here, so this is the living room. You can actually see our couch. I can't even, we haven't seen our couch for several weeks. Um, we cooked on the actual stove tonight. Zad hooked up propane. Um, so we graduated from the induction burner up to the propane stove. So I was able to cook two things at once. That was very exciting. Um, we had burgers and I made baked beans from the beans that I had canned um, with our homemade barbecue sauce and homemade applesauce. This is the first time we've had meat since we've been sick. So hopefully that goes over well. Um, Zuzu did puke overnight last night, but besides that, no one's puked for like about 48 hours, 36 or 48 hours, which is pretty exciting. So poor Zuzu, hopefully <laughs> she's filthy and needs a bath. So, um, anyway, everybody is on the mend, I think. Um, so pretty decent day for doing a light duty day. Um, we, we got the living room, like I would say maybe three quarters of the way. Shh. Three quarters. Jamie boy. Shh. Three quarters of the way put together. Um, I called and got internet um, arranged. So that'll be here next week, which is great. So we can start like shipping orders and making things on the Glowforge again. And you know, whatever, just all the convenient things you have when you have internet um, streaming and all that kind of thing. So um, we had sort of talked about renting our old house. Again, we like revisited that revisited that idea um and we just decided that we're just gonna sell it we'll be able to do so much more at this property if we sell um hold on 
I'm gonna move to the other room because the kids are noisy. So um, we had sort of talked about maybe renting the old house and I think we're just gonna sell it because we have a lot of projects to do here. We want to um, pave the driveway and insulate Zed's shop and all these kinds of things. And if we sell the other house, we'll have that ability. Um, long term, we might be better off if we kept it, but I just, it's just too much right now. So we're gonna sell the other house. Um, so we're hoping to get that on the market here in the next, you know, month-ish, maybe we're shooting for like June 1st. Um, we sort of were trying to take a little bit of pressure off of ourselves um, as far as getting that house on the market. So we're working on getting that done. We have a few more loads of things to bring from the other house. Um, our buddy with the tractor trailer is gonna come this weekend. We rented a petty bone. So um, we're gonna get that stuff done and up here. And then the shed hauler comes on Monday. So he'll bring um, what was at that house, the pool shed, the lawn shed, and the goat shed. Um, obviously we don't have a pool, an in-ground pool here. So we don't need like a whole shed for all that equipment. Um, so it's gonna hold hay, which is great. I'll have a whole barn for hay our whole shed for hay. So that's where we're at with everything here. Obviously uh, the kitchen is not, I mean, this, this is a mess, but this isn't too shabby. Um, we're not doing too bad as far as the kitchen goes. Um, the dining room is still pretty, pretty messy. Um, Bud worked on getting the toy room a little bit cleaned up today. So it's not bad. It's better than it was when we got here today. Um, my Glowforge is very daintily just sitting here awaiting going to its home. Um, our bedroom is kind of put together. I mean, our real bed is in there. We're not just sleeping on two twins shoved together at this house anymore. Um, and we need, Bud started working on his room. The baby's room, I'm not super worried. I mean, that'll be like last priority because they sleep with us anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so that's where we're at here. I think tomorrow we are probably just gonna unload this trailer. It's just a few IBC containers and some lumber because you can't fit that many IBC containers on a landscape trailer anyway, which is good because nobody's like at 100% strength anyway. So we will get that unloaded and then head back to the old house and, um, get another trailer loaded we're pretty much down to things that need loaded with the tractor we were hoping to do a bunch of turn and burns this week bring the tractor and a trailer um so the tractor is on one trailer and then stuff on another um and run those and do some double loads but the excursion is still being worked on so we're just going to do the best we can with what we have for right now um so just wanted to give you an update that's where we are um thanks everybody for well wishes on facebook and instagram whatever while we were down for a couple days um i think we're on the mend i always hate saying that out loud but we'll catch you next time